Oi pessoas, tudo bem com você? Um, então hoje eu vou falar sobre a Anitta. Vou aprender GS em português com Anitta. Surrounded. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna basically just react to Anita's latest video. Obviously, Anita is a big, big celebrity in Brazil and around the world now. Um, so I just seen she released a video about slangs, and I've not watched it yet. So I don't really do reaction. I mean, I do do reaction videos, but I'm jumping on the trend a little bit. I'm following the trend a little bit. This video is going to be me reacting to Anita's slang videos, like her talking about her slangs. Uh, Antes de isso, primeiro, se inscreve no meu canal, Fale com Jake. No meu Instagram, Fale com Jake. Give me a thumbs up, because you like thumbs up. Comentario, comento e compartilha. Feito. Vamos. Uh, let's do it here. Yeah. One more subscriber. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Oh, and um, first of all, before we start, it is Sesto today, so I'm drinking a beer. Um, so if you're watching this now, drink a beer with me and watch this video. Hi, I'm Anita, and I'm gonna teach you some Brazilian Portuguese slangs. Let's start for the first one. Nossa! Nossa is like, wow, whoa. Nossa means ours, but in the beginning of everything, it was like, our mother of God, but instead of saying oh, our mother of God, then it was like our mother, like nossa mãe, and then our is just nossa. Pão duro. Okay, some people. Before we go on, nossa. It, when I learned this was a slang, I heard this before actually. Um, yeah, so when she said like our, it was so confusing, like to shout our, like our, but now it makes sense. And yesterday I was watching Coisa My Cylinders and I noticed even back then Coisa My Cylinders, um, Brazilian Netflix series based in Rio in the 1950s and they were using, I heard the slang in, in, in that uh, series as well. So it must be a really old slang, it must be a slang that's been going on for years. Pão duro. Pão okay, duro. some people say I am this one but I am not. Pão duro means that when you don't open your pocket, you don't like to, to spend your money. Pão duro is like a bread, a hard bread. I don't know why, maybe you don't want to pay more for a, a bread that was just done. I don't know. <laughs> Pão duro. Tight-fisted, we say. We say tight-fisted or stingy. Tight fist, it just means you don't let go of your money, stingy. I don't know where that comes from, but it's a slang for someone that doesn't like to spend money. Beleza. Beleza. And the real meaning is beauty, but as a slang, it means like, okay, like, fine, good, beleza. Beleza, beleza is like beautiful, right? Um, in English, we say things like, oh, beautiful, sweet. We say beautiful or sweet for when something is like a plan works well. So if I say, okay, I'm gonna meet you tonight at eight o'clock in this place. Okay, okay, beautiful, perfect, sweet. So, kind of similar. Eita, eita, eita. Like I like this one. Like it's very, like a good reactional noise and it just rolls off the tongue. I could get used to saying this. Ah, eita! You know? Did you understand that? Só um minutinho is like, when you say like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's like this, wait a minute. Like, just a minute. Só um minutinho is... Só um... Só um minutinho. Só um minutinho. This could be useful. E aí? E aí is like, what's up? When you want to say, what's up? You say, e aí? Okay. Cabeça dura is like hard head. 
when you don't like to change your mind, nobody changed your mind. You know, it's hard for you, for some for you to change your mind no matter what people say. Even if you're wrong and you know that you're wrong, sometimes you just say that no, 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 I'm right. Just because you are cabeça dura. Não tô nem aí means like literally translating means like I am not even there. But actually means like I don't give a shit. Não tô nem aí. I've not heard this one before. Um, let's listen. But actually means like I don't give a shit. Okay. Foi mal is like my bad. Foi mal is all my bad. Cara. Cara. This is common. I've heard this many times. Same, I guess, like it's more American to say like dude. Um, we don't really say in English, in British, sorry. Um, I don't know, cara, cara, like... Mate. Well, we might say, yeah, we might say mate. We might say mate, like, oh, mate, what are you doing? Or mate, listen to me. Or I don't know, yeah, cara, mate, in American, it's more like to say dude. Some people say dude here, or, yeah, some people say bro, bro. What bruv. up, bro? <laughs> or bruv, yeah, we say bruv. Bruv is very British, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> Yes. Cara means dude. Everyone says dude for everyone. Like, cara. Everyone says cara. Even for girls, for, for guys, for family, for moms, dads. Everyone says dude. It's kind of crazy we say dude for everyone now that I'm realizing. But yeah, we do. Sexto. It's my favorite word in Portuguese and it's not even a word in Brazilian Portuguese as well because it's unique to Brazil, it's not in Portugal. Sexto, I love sexto. I drink every Friday, so. I don't drink every Friday, but I like to go out and have a good time on Fridays, so sexto is relevant to me, you know? We say, I like to have a good time, and uh, sexto is my favorite phrase in Brazilian Portuguese, so cheers. Very good. This is a very good expression. Why? Sexta means Friday. So literally translating with it would be Friday, fr Friday, fr Friday. Does it make any sense to you, Friday? Anita, it makes perfect sense to me. I'm on board. If we translate this to English, we would be an ed in the end of Friday, so we would put Friday. It's fine. It's you can say Friday. Like you can say Friday. Friday. It's normal. It's like oh, let's party. Like it means like Fridays. Uh, it's like the end of the week so if, if it's friday then you're ready to party and this but it also it can be sex to you i love if it's friday sex to you sex to everyone is it friday today no sex to you every day lacra lacra is like when you kill it actually lacra means like how can i say lacri oh my god the clothes thing that when you put like <laughs> Velcro. And then we say lacra, I don't know why it's like you kill it. Lacra! Come on, gay, lacra! Oh, fada sensata. I hate this term. Fada means like a fairy. Sensata means like when you're full of sense. So it's a fairy full of sense. It means that you are sensible fairy. It's like when you are full of the rightness. You are right about everything. You are a girl and you are wow. Para sensata means you're perfect, like. Yeah, your penis is perfect. You're very like, um, like how you. Straight. Eu não sou. Eu não sou para sensata. Yeah, eu não sensata. Eu não sou para sensata. Well, the big father is just for the male, no? Eu não sou faro sensato. <laughs> you were a girl and you were wow, clap your hands because everything she says is right. <gasps> I mean, for me, there's no such a person that is right 100% of the time. So that's why I kind of don't like it. But okay. Jantou cedo means like you had dinner. <laughs> means that you had dinner too early. For example, you're going to have dinner like in two hours. But then you got someone who did some sh and you started to say some truths for this person. Then they're gonna say that you had dinner early because you ate this person. That's it, everyone. We just learned some Brazilian Portuguese slangs. I hope we can communicate in Portuguese when we talk to each other next time. Bye. So.
so some of those words I know already. Um, but yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Um, she teaches me some words. I don't, Anita's accent is very American, I noticed this, but probably because she spends a lot of time in the USA. Um, she probably learned English in the USA, so she has quite an American accent, but she speaks English very well, I have to say. Um, seems like it's like absolutely natural to her. I speak informal English. Um, so I use a lot of slangs when I speak English. Um, and I learned a lot in Portuguese. So it's like, I learned, actually it's Brazilian. I learned a lot in Brazilian Portuguese. So I just don't feel like natural using them, but I could definitely actually use them. It'd probably be better for my videos as well to give that reaction in the, the Brazilian Portuguese slangs. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna try and start using more slangs, I think, EIE. Gentis, E-I-E, or says. Does that make sense? Doesn't make sense. But yeah, cool video. Um, some interesting slangs there. I don't really understand this janto cedo ones, to be honest. Janto cedo means like you had dinner. <laughs> means that you had dinner too early. For example, you're gonna have dinner like in two hours, but then you got someone who did some shit and you started to say some truths for this person, then they're gonna say that you had dinner early because you ate this person. That's it, everyone! We just learned... It doesn't really translate, unless I'm missing some kind of meaning here, but it doesn't really make sense. Um, it's one of those expressions, I guess, it just doesn't really... It's one of those expressions, I guess. It's one of those expressions, I guess, that just doesn't really make sense. Um, so... Yep, yeah, sorry Anita, I don't really understand that one. If anyone can explain to in the comments, then let me know and maybe we can uh, try and figure that one out. Anyway guys, um, yeah, inscribe no meu canal, subscribe to my YouTube, um, follow me on Jake, Siggy, no meu Instagram, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.